how about you want to see the farm truck? Let's go. All right, let's start off. First things first. Uh, mistakes were made. It got stuck and the log chain snapped. So one downfall, we will get it fixed at the cost of a windshield. But, uh, and filthy interior. But let's start off with, oh, we'll just go right to this thing. Okay, so the cooler, you gotta be able to stay hydrated when you're in the field. It's pretty sturdy, but it's held on with magnets. Replace the feet with magnets. We got uh, reflective triangles right there. All right, this is my favorite thing. I just did this today. So, I wanted to find a Montezuma box to be able to keep my tools and stuff in. I didn't want to pay those prices for it. So, awesome deal at Harbor Freight. $229 for this 26 inch top chest. Um, all the drawers lock. Super simple. Put the key in, unlock it. On the top, uh, half inch drive sockets, oil filter wrenches, three eighths, half inch, quarter inch, uh, more quarter inch stuff, just odds and ends. Uh, pry bar screwdrivers, uh, sockets, uh, there's a torpedo level in there. Half inch drive. Uh, this is miscellaneous sockets and stuff till I can get more organizers. Lock that one in. Screwdrivers and picks. Uh, another miscellaneous drawer, uh, grinding wheels, cutoff wheels, uh, torque, torch striker, pocket knives, top drawer, pliers. Uh, we still got to fill it. I still have uh, to go get some more tools. I need to get wrench organizers. Uh, electrical drawer, still in the process. Uh, this is another kind of miscellaneous uh, oil filter wrenches, air fittings, hammer, bolt cutters, C clamp. And this is extremely miscellaneous. I suppose that the whole toolbox is really miscellaneous now, but uh, just nuts, bolts, bolt kit, uh, three quarter inch drive ratchet, hitch pins, pry bar. Uh, these are hex head sockets. We got a 40 gallon fuel tank. Uh, it's currently not bolted down. It's held in with the ratchet strap. Uh, grease gun, that's probably not gonna end up staying there. Move that out of the way. So for now, I can get it out. Uh, lubricants, everything, this is bolted down. Uh, grease, never sees, WD-40 PD blaster. All the bare essentials. So this side, I wanted to make sure I could still get the gooseneck hitch on. So that's in line. That side, gonna be questionable because the Miller water is getting bolted over there. Um, the generator water, I mean, everything you really need out of it. Make sure this is locked up. I can't, I mean, I can drive it, but the truck has developed a transmission fluid leak. So we're gonna have to find that. Um, back seat, trash right now, uh, welding helmet, extra clothes, ratchet straps in there. Behind the seat, there are, this is going to be tough. You're going to eat the seat for a second. Two inch straps, uh, the bra for the truck of the winter because it doesn't get a temperature. Fuel line disconnects, there's welding rod, jump pack, grinder safety vests um, and then just your basic essentials like I said the truck is a mess right now uh, let's run over to the other side oh yeah we broke the fender flare with the chain too when it snapped it came up hit the fender hit the hood hit the windshield I might have the keys on me. I know what you guys are curious about and it's that 
super slick install right there. I'll show you what that's for in just a second. Key on, power, strobe light. So that'll be nice having at night. My luck, this thing's not gonna start. It's only been sitting for two days. It probably will though. It generally runs pretty good. It's a 2000 F250. It's a crew cab short bed with an eight foot flat bed. Um, 292, maybe. I made it worse. 292,000 miles. Runs like a top. Transmission trailer really sluggish right now because it's low on fluid. I'm pulling it up to the house because the barn. Oh God. The barn's full of stuff. And uh, I'll just fix it in the driveway. It's not that bad of a leak. So it should be pretty easy to pinpoint. It's not like the truck leaks a bunch of stuff. So we'll get it all figured out. But uh, I figured I'd give a tour of the farm truck. I'll do a little bit more in depth when I get some more tools and I get the welder mounted. I'm hoping to have the welder mounted on it by this weekend and we'll go from there. But uh, we'll do a full finish update on the truck probably next week. So stay tuned for that. Until then, thank you for visiting the Foreman Farms YouTube channel.